Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, I had told you that I would look this up. This is not valuable. This, these are valuable when it is a flapper head um, with all the rhinestones um, at the top of the head and they're more forward facing. Um, so this is not that valuable at all. Um, unfortunately, I thought that maybe it was, but it is not. Um, this is more of like the Red Hat Society type of pin. Um, might be valuable to somebody who's a collector of those types of things, um, but not valuable at all for anything like that. So too bad, but still, you know, might be worth something to somebody. Um, okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, this is a, um, I'm just kind of a plain bib necklace, eh, you know, kind of looks like something like a, um, paparazzi kind of thing. So not my type of thing, but you know, somebody might like it. Um, this is interesting, a little copper piece. Um, probably copper, might not be. Um, cute little piece doves. It does look sort of vintage. Um, fell apart. It's got a nice little chain that goes with it. I do like the, the I like that. That is kind of cool. I will say that. Um, so we're going to keep that. Um, just for the aesthetic alone, um, I think that's kind of cool. So I'll keep that in the keep pile. Um, definitely a no on this little plastic. It looks like one of those little wrap bracelets that um, kids liked in the back in the day. So um, some cheapy earrings, put those in that earring pile. Another one of those little bangles. Another one of these wrap bracelets. Oh, lots, lots of tingles here. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, I got a necklace in here. What's this? Oh, this looks interesting. And get it untangled. Oh, it looks like a little fortune cookie. Hmm, let's see. What do we have? Come on. Any day. There we go. Okay. Hmm. So it's got marker on it, but what does this say? May, may this year be the first of many. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Cobra? Hmm. That does have a nine to five mark on it, as you can maybe see. Nine to five. And I think that says Cobra. Hold on one second. Let me grab my loop. So I did just a quick look up of this Cobra. Couldn't really find much about it. There is a Cobra Valley Silver that does. Um, that's like located in England that makes handmade silver pieces and does engraving. So maybe them, I'm not really sure. Um, I'll have to look up, do more research on this. It is really cool. Um, I feel that it's interesting that the clasp and this engraved piece are back at the neck and it's a fortune cookie. Really cool piece, um, really cool piece, interesting. Um, a little wrap bracelet, another one. Um, lots of crappy pieces in here. So one thing about these jewelry jars, at least for me, like I have no interest in a lot of these types of 
um, pieces. So if uh, anybody is interested in any of these, just let me know because um, I would do like a big book buy um, in any of this. Um, this looks like it could be jade, but it also appears like it could be plastic. It does not feel cold to the touch, but let's get the Presidium out and just test it. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, it's nothing. So... This is nothing, so I'm putting this back in the nothing pile. Um, I am putting all of these little earrings that are on cards all together. I'd be willing, if anybody is interested, to do a bulk purchase on, you know, somebody, you know, wants to take all of these earrings. I can definitely do something like that. And then um, that looks like that goes in the craft. <laughs> that definitely goes in the craft. Um, it's a cute little evil eye necklace. Not very expensive though. Oh, kids bracelet. Lots of these little stud earrings. I mean, it's these are great, like bread and butter items, but not for me necessarily. Um, and my my clientele and who I normally sell to. I'm just going to take a lot of these little pieces out that I know. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, that I know oh, that's like a kid's piece. A lot of these plastic beads we're gonna just pull right out that's craft that's craft oh, those are all in craft this is interesting these were like super big in like the 80s remember that he's like three tone or multi-tone gold necklaces this isn't even that well done though so I'll throw that in craft. Um, another one of these. This is, wow, somebody wanted to get $14 for this? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Throw that in craft. Lots of these earrings, holy cow. The like whole bag is full of these earrings. I'll go into a Ziploc baggie over to my side here. Okay, these are kind of cute. These little, these little earrings. Those are kind of cute, I would say. Maybe. Those are my maybe pile. Okay. Adorable. I mean, not my style, but adorable. Lots, lots, and lots. These darn earrings. Holy moly. Empty this whole bag out. Let's see what we got. Now watch. You know, watches are. I wish I liked them, but I just can't seem to really get them. Um, I'm actually just going to try to separate all of these little earrings out just to get them kind of out of the way. Um, since I know that they are just 
not our style, right? Some of these are going to be singles on a card, but well, let's get them out of the way so we can have more fun looking at the rest of the jewelry in here. Oh, here's another watch. Oh, this is a Seiko. I think Seikos are good watches, right? I mean, Seikos are good. Maybe one of you guys that is watching, watching, no pun intended, um, knows about watches because I sure don't. And if any of these watches are good, let me know. Um, I am not somebody who sells watches. I wish I knew about watches. I just don't. Um, but if anybody does know about watches and I have a, just, I literally have a box of watches. Um, if anybody's interested in watches, just let me know because I can give you a really great deal on watches. I just, like I said, I know nothing about them. Absolutely nothing about watches. All right, I think we got most of these little earrings and cards out of here. So many of these little fuzzball earrings. Oh my gosh, who wears fuzzball earrings? Okay, so the Seiko might be worth something. I don't know, this one I don't know. But I don't sell earrings, so I'm just gonna set those off to the back here. Okay, these are clip earrings, little rhinestone clip earrings. I love rhinestone earrings. I could sell these all day and all night. I literally have people that that's all they want are rhinestones. And these don't even look that old, but still. Um, great condition, they're not, they're not even dirty. So rhinestones, awesome. Um, oh, what are these? These are Avon's. God, I hate these index cards. God. Gross. These are Avon earrings. Those are kind of sweet. I love those. Definitely a keeper. Um, those are cute enamel earrings. Um, I don't know if that's a smudge on them or if that's actually like broken or like chipped. Ooh, nasty. I think these are going in craft. That's just, they don't look good on that side. I'm not, I don't like them. Not when they look like that. Not when they look like that. I do not like earrings when they look like they've been re-glued. I mean, if they've been re-glued and they've been, and they are good quality, then that's one thing, but mm, I don't know about those. We'll throw those in craft too. These look nice. These are little pearl gold earrings. Ooh, these have a mark on them. Let's see. What are they? I am so blind. Even with a loop, I'm blind. Can't even read it. Turn the light on of the loop. Avon. You know, people give Avon a bad rap, but you know what, honestly, they have some cute jewelry. I have a great memories of my mom and her Avon lady. Remember, her name was Mrs. Day. She was my mom's best friend. They used to come here, and I remember they, I live in the house that I grew up in, but they used to come and, like, my mom would, like, make coffee, and they would sit around, and I used to get, I used to just get to, like, play in the makeup samples. Oh, my God, that was probably, like, how my, like, love for makeup happened. This is kind of cute. This is like very David Yerman-ish. Um, I know it's not a David Yerman, but 
I always look and make sure there's no like markings. Um, it would be a little bit more beat up if it was probably a real sterling silver piece, but we can always double check. Make sure there's no markings. I do not see any, but it's a cute piece. And I would definitely hold that aside as a possible, a possible piece to, um, these look like, like for a watch that might've been a, you know, in here at some point, like a watch that changes faces. Um, more of those earrings. Let's see. Um, it's a cute little earring. Same with that, little kid earrings. Throw those aside. All right, let's see. Oh, that one goes in craft. Got a broken one. What's this? Our necklace. These are kind of pretty. What's going on here? I feel like it's broken though. What do we got going on? Yep, definitely broken. Oh, it's too bad. Pretty beads on there. Other plastic. Whoops. Cute though. Craft. All right. Another one of those wrap bracelet things. Oh, I think. Big old tangled mess here. Anything good in here? What is this? Forever friend. These were popular a while back. Cute, forever friend. Set this aside, back here. That's a cute little Eiffel Tower pendant. Somebody who likes traveling or something. Probably went on this chain right here. It looks like it matches, or maybe not. broken though. Hmm. Boy, big tangled mess again. Does anything in here look like it could be valuable? Not well. What is this? It's kind of a cute necklace. Yeah, that's a cute necklace. This is, oh, I'm not sure what the symbol is, but these are glass. Those are glass. Um, we'll set this aside, do a little research on what that symbol is. I don't know if that's a good, good or not, but it's kind of cute. Kind of like it. So we'll set that aside. This all looks like a big hot mess here. I mean, I don't know about a zipper on a necklace, but I would say that's a big no for me. So I like the Eiffel Tower pendant. Yeah, that's a big no. Oh, here's the other, other earring for that. But very vintage but I would say probably no on those, at least for me. I can set them aside though. I'll put them in the earring bucket. Is there another one of these? This is kind of a pretty enamel earring, red and black. Those are pretty pearls. Let's 
see if these are anything. No. But these are kind of cute. Let's see if we can find a match to that enamel. Um, it's kind of an interesting earring. I don't know if there's a match. Uh, that's definitely craft. Some funky earrings in this thing here. Little ring. No. Nope. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, and there's a match. Ooh, I like those a lot. Those are cool. Name on that? Nope. Those are sweet, though. I like those. Uh, craft, craft. Oh, some dolphin earrings. Those have a name. Let's see. Got some more of these little earrings here. Oh, we got a match to the red and black enamels. Yay. Um, some more of those. Got that craft, craft. Oh, we got a match to the little door knockers, so that's good. We liked those. Got another. Okay, some more enamel earrings. I like these enamel earrings, so keep those. Got a random pendant. This is a random necklace. We'll keep that back here. Craft, craft. Um, oh, this is pretty, but it looks like it's just a, on its own. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Oh, these are pretty. These are actually really pretty. Oops. Let's see if there's any marks on this. It almost looks like gold. Let's take a look. Looks like gold and jade almost. Hmm. This is marked. Hold on. It says, hold on, hold on, I'm in. Okay, back to these. Um, I took a second to go and clean them up and really inspect the marking on them. These say um, Carrot Overlay by Bell. Um, I don't know what Bell means, but so they are gold overlay. Um, let's get the Presidium out and test the stone. I have a feeling maybe the stone is Jade. So let's take a look. Move these guys over. Um, Okay. Oh man, nope, it's glass. Double check it. Yeah, I mean, it's tested at the top end of glass, but it's glass. Dang it. Oh, well. 
not jade, not anything special, but these are gold overlay um, by Bell. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on what Bell means, but kind of kind of nice earrings. Um, so some funky little, these are lightweight little earrings. These are kind of cute. I mean, maybe, maybe something. I do have some people that like the shoulder duster bling. So maybe I'll keep those. Um, this is kind of a nice rhinestone, um, necklace. Doubt that that's silver. Yeah, I don't see any markings, but kind of a nice little pendant to it. You know, little rhinestone. Nice nice shimmer on those, so I'll keep that one. I'm keeping that little pendant. Um, those earrings are good. Um, looks like we're missing the other little earring for that. So that'll go in craft. That'll go in craft craft that's kind of a cheapy so that'll go and craft and that's just a little nugget stuck on a ring so that'll go and craft okay so that's that's it for that bag let's open up the second bag and see what this bag this is the one that um she whispered to me that she thought this had silver in it so let's take a look and see if that is an indeed true. So I just dump the whole bag right out and take a look. Um, okay, so we got spider earrings. One is missing a spider craft. Um, oh, this is kind of cute. Um, vintage, we've got moon glow and gold beads. Those, that's a good piece right there. I like it. So that's definitely a winner winner right there. Oh, love these moon glow hoops. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Love, I like anything moon glow, so I will love those. Those are cheapy little earrings, but I like the snake personally, but I don't like the quality of them personally. That's me. Oh, Batman. Batman earrings. Kind of fun. Kind of fun little Batman earrings. Let me set those aside. Some snake earrings again. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, these are fun. These are cool. I do like these earrings. I think I'll keep those. Uh a wash band. Oh, it looks like it's an Apple wash band, but looks like there's another side to it. Oh, that's one earring. Let's see if there's another one. Happy Halloween, little cats. Kind of cute. There's an earring pile. Um, oh, we're missing one. Random earrings. Oh, these are cute. Not expensive, but cute earrings. Set those aside. Oh, single earring pile. Oh, here we go. Those are cute. I like the 80s vibe to those, so we'll keep those. Oh, oh here we go. Love money. Another watch. I don't know what that means, but okay. Another watch. It's kind of a nice bangle. What about the other bangles? That's Kind of a cool one too. More gummy bracelet again. Not seeing 
anything silver, like she said, that there was silver. Oh, here's something silver. Oh, what's this? Almost, it's kind of a cool ring, but it is, it's uh, adjustable, but still it's a cool ring. Uh, we'll put that in craft. Here we go. We got to match to that those earrings, and we got to match to that earring. So that's cool. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, this is a cool little bird, but it looks like it was it had a pearl or something. It's missing a stone. So craft. Tangle, tangle, tangle! Come on, tangles. Not as bad as the tangles in that other bag, but that's a pretty earring. No marks on it. Ooh, that's a good earring right there. Any marks? No. God, that looks like a Les Bernard, too. Like a Vogue Les Bernard. Hopefully there's another one of those. It's a pretty ring. Mm. That's a pretty ring too. Ooh, cameo ring. That's adjustable, but still anything cameo. I love anything cameo. Keep the rings. Let's see. Really spidery. Oh, what's this? Oh. Kind of cheap, but kind of cute at the same time. Looks like there's matching earrings. They have like paparazzi kind of stuff. A little adjustable. Kind of cute. I'm going to set that back here though. That's a pretty little earring. Is there a mark on that? There is a mark on that, I think. Could be wrong, but I think there's a mark on that. Almost looks like an an M or an H. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep this that one aside. Another ring. charm bracelet it's a little ab crystal it's kind of cute plastic though hmm. oh i thought those were oh, craft that's Kind of cute. Oh, here's the other one. That's kind of cute. Keep that aside. Hmm. That's interesting. Kind of pretty. Looks like it was for sale. Or something. Mm, yeah, we'll keep that one for now. Mm, cheap earrings. 
Hmm, this must have been like a not vintage. I'll set these back in here then. Oh, here's the other one of these earrings. I do like those. Oh, those are pretty. Little rope, enamel rope hoops. Very cute. Craft. Ooh. Another one of these. Oh, it's like an earring jacket or something. Oh no, cheap. Cheap, 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 dang it. That's too bad. It's like, do you remember when, like, I don't know, maybe it's age or dating me, but like you could, you would have studs like this. Oops, you'd have a stud. And then you could have like different jackets like this and you would wear them behind the stud. And that's like what these are, but those are not very good quality. So we're gonna move on from those. These are nice. Um, also very eighties, nice heavy duty earrings though, like very good quality. Um, so we're gonna keep those aside. Those are kind of nice too. Here's the other little rope, Oop, little hoop, kind of cute, like those. Oh, mixed metal earring, dangle earring. I think that's kind of cute. Kind of like that. See, there's another one, hopefully. Ooh, cameo. Oh, very cheaply made cameo, but still, oh, there's nothing to it. So probably get rid of that one. Craft. Oh, plastic beads. I hate plastic beads. Craft, craft. This thing is so tangled. Oh, little plastic. Oh, geez. I'm yours. Earrings, little Valentine earrings. Cute, but cute, but not cute. Cute, but not for us, right? Oh, sexy, sexy earrings. Put those I'm yours earrings in the earring bin. Okay, here's these. God, those are really cute earrings. This just seems like these should be marked by somebody, but... They probably are made by somebody that we should know, but these are gorgeous hoops. Wow, those are really gorgeous hoops. Also should be mar marked by somebody that we know, but I do not see any markings on any edges or anything. A lot of times it will be on the inside edge, but... Do not see any. God, those are really pretty. Really, really pretty. Ooh, those are pretty. Very pretty. Any marks on those? Let's double check. Oh, crap. Because I dropped one. Nothing worse than dropping an earring. Especially when you have so much stacked up on your floor. No, no marks on this, but really pretty little stud earrings. Oh, those are pretty. Little like gray crystal on the bottom. Let's see if there's a match to that one. Some more earrings that are just kind of, just kind of there. Lots of stuff tangled. Let's see. Those are pretty. Also not marked. Oh, here we go. There's a match for that set. That's good. 
here's a match to this little I got this one down here so that's that's a nice little set of earrings cute but the pendant part is not there I could totally totally fix this um, do I want to I don't know that it's worth it for me to because it's not marked or anything like that but could I yes absolutely um, if this was a one that I felt that was worth it I would do a total video on repairing something like this but I'm not gonna bother with something like this one just not really worth it to me to do to repair this particular piece, to repair this particular one. So that can be somebody else's craft project, but not not ours today. Um, that's, that's sort of pretty. That is real crystal. Um, I do not believe that is real silver, but it is a pretty bracelet, so we'll keep that one. That's a pretty little earring. And here is its match. Right here. There we go. It's kind of pretty. are okay. Keep those aside. I don't know what that lady was talking about. I'm not really seeing, oh, this might be silver. I was gonna say, I'm not really seeing silver, but this, this is cute. This could be. It's actually a super cute little bracelet. Let me see here. Handy dandy little loop out and see if I see any marks on this. It's always going to be in the strangest of places if it's going to be anywhere. But I'm not seeing any, any marks. This is a cute little bracelet though, so we'll keep that. Those earrings are a match. So whenever I get a big tangled mess, I tend to unhook. Um, I'll tend to unhook pieces like necklace ends I'll just unhook them and see if I can untangle it that way hopefully usually I can and then if not and sometimes I just rather than get frustrated I deal with it then later but this is all tangled around this earring which the earring is okay. It's not a great earring. There we go. There's the hook of the earring. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got a little copper dove thing going on here. I'll put this earring's hooked into it too. A lot of earrings on this batch. Uh, kind of cheapy little dove. Um, another little earring. Those are not expensive. Um, this is kind of a cool cuff link. I don't know if there's a second cuff link. Sometimes cuff links are like a good find. Um, 
and you can get cufflinks that are made from like 10 karat gold or sometimes even 14 karat gold or I mean I've seen them in platinum I've seen them in like all kinds of different you know metals um with gemstones and all of that I don't know that this is I don't see any markings on this particular cufflink yeah I don't see any markings on this one but that's a really pretty like mother of pearl and the s I've seen them made by a company called swink um swink makes uh, a lot of really cool pieces um, and they are uh, a good company that's a Leah Sophia chain um, I'm not sure where that goes to but it's always good to have a nice long silver chain so we'll keep that aside um, let's see anything else here worth anything oh here's the other earring for that um, here's this but I'm not really loving that particular piece those are kind of a cool hoop so and they're both together so that's a good thing um, here's the other black enamel And I don't really see much else here on the table that is worth much. I wish I saw, oh, that's not even a great earring. I do wish this earring was in there though, but I am not seeing it. Oh, what is this? Is this silver? Hmm. This could be silver here. I'm not seeing any marks on this particular piece. But let's just test the stone really quick. Nope. Nope. No, it's a cool piece though. It's a really unique piece. I keep that piece. What about this? It doesn't feel like it's silver, but. Oh, this piece is marked 925. That piece is marked 925. So, hey, there is a silver piece in there. Let's test the stone. Nope, stone isn't anything, but that does test to be 925, so that's a good deal. And let's see. Here's this heart too. I don't see any marks, but let me just double check because sometimes, like I said, I am blind and I don't see marks when they're sometimes really finely stamped. Oh, there is a mark. And it's 925 Thailand. So we got another 925 piece. So that's a good thing. Make sure I'm not missing anything else. Oh, but that was another cute little pair of earrings. Oh, no, those plastic beads on there. It's kind of ruin it. All right. I think that's all of it. So, hey, a couple good finds right at the end with these couple pieces with these two. Silver. So she was right. There's silver in there. So these two pieces make up for all of, like, well, these two pieces right here are worth more than the $5 I paid for the whole bag. But 
other pieces that are really good from this bag. Um, the Moon Glow hoops. These are very like mid-century modern and Moon Glow is a great, great thing. I mean, these are technically like a lucite or a resin type of material, a plastic, but Moon Glow is super cool um, and very like on trend, very in fashion right now for like vintage wearers. Um, and that's a really cool thing. And then this bracelet here also has Moon Glow beads. And then the foil beads, I think this is really, really pretty stunning. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And then these are not marked, but very, very, very like Les Bernardish, um, which I had a pair yesterday that looked like Les Bernard as well. So, um, but these are very, like, very in his style. Um, and I've done very well with pieces like this. So I'm super excited. This was a really great bag, to be honest, a really great bag. So very, very excited about this one. Um, even though there was a fair amount of junky stuff, I would say, but of some really great pieces as well. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get um, all the good stuff here organized. Um, I do have a whole bunch of like earrings and pieces like that. And then um, other pieces that um, are not very high end. So if anybody's interested in um, any like bulk purchases or anything like that, let me know. But um, I've got all of this stuff here to organize now. So I've got my work, uh, I guess my, I got my work ahead of me. So, um, and then I do have another couple of videos I need to make because I just won um, an auction. And then when I went to go pick up the auction, I stopped at an, uh, at an um, antique store and I ended up picking up some great, really cool vintage uh, jewelry and some cameos. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys that. So definitely tune in for my next video. Please hit that subscribe. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Um, you know, keep me in that algorithm. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.